So Brian, AKA Mastermind, you are coming out to the Dash community for the first time. How does it feel? Uh, pretty nervous, actually, yeah. You're pretty nervous. That is so cute. You are such a computer nerd. <laughs> you got your setup, you got your hat, you got your glasses. We can see a sort of reflection of the computer screen in your glasses. This is perfect. This is exactly the type of person I expect who's behind the Dash network. You've met all of my expectations, Brian. Yeah, I'm, I'm still maybe a little anonymous because, yeah, the video is not the best. This is my laptop with my master nodes. It doesn't get used very much. I think we're rocking it in 480p. So, yeah, I'm doing it big time now. Wow. This is my laptop with my master nodes. What an answer. So <laughs> what I want to talk to you about, Brian, primarily, is uh, the stuff I see coming out of Dash Force recently because y'all are starting to like roll out uh some bigger guns uh so first of all tell me am i correct <clears throat> in uh assuming did you come up with the concept of dash force there was a similar name project dash force um but it was pretty much this is totally different animal than what that was um it was uh ooh, many many months ago and it was set up to just kind of give a presence on social media and uh, get uh, all the guys uh, that was in the Slack. Uh, I think there were seven members originally, but there was uh, some fallout from that, and I saw that, and I decided that I liked the idea, uh, but it needed better leadership. Okay, and so for anybody who um, doesn't recall, yes, what Brian is talking about is, yes, a number of months ago, a proposal was put into the treasury of like, hey, can we have some funds to then like distribute, you know, like to tip people for high value comments on, you know, Reddit, et cetera, et cetera. And so there was a bit of a fallout. Uh, I didn't know that. And you thought that the proposal needed some leadership going forward. So now, fast forward to now, tell me who now that you are the leader of the effort, who who is it who's working with you primarily? Well, originally I uh, recruited Tao of Satoshi um, to help with the project, and then uh, Splalik, I don't want to murder his name there. Um, he I had originally not uh, contacted him because he was part of CORE, and I wasn't really sure what their uh, rules and stuff were, but he contacted me, said he wanted to be a part of it, and I said, great, uh, really nice guy. I've seen him on the show. And then from there, it's just kind of grown. Uh, most recently, I, uh, Joel Valenzuela, Mark Mason, uh, they were in the Dash Force channel on Slack. They were doing a lot of comments and just showing a lot of effort. And they seem to have uh, a grasp of the technology. And I recruited them. And we are going to, on this new proposal, wanted to do a three-way partnership. Great. So now you all launched a news site, uh, Dash Force News, uh, like a month or two ago, and I'm sure uh, a lot of us have seen that. And now I see this sort of new thing that you guys have in the works that you're setting up at discoverdash.com. I think I saw something like it's set to be like a merchant directory or something or walk me through this because I'm particularly interested in this and I'll tell you why in a moment. Yeah, I know. Um, well, I, yeah, it's all I think everybody's kind of had the same idea that the next phase is this merchant adoption. We all uh, myself, Joel and Mark, uh, just we Skype weekly as part of the, the Dash Force. And we all just kind of came to the conclusion that, yes, yeah, something like this was needed. I think I might have mentioned meetups or ATMs, and uh, somebody else mentioned events and uh, merchant adoption, which Joel's going to head up for us. And then it just came together. Mark's a webmaster. He's been uh, working tirelessly. We are uh, requiring him to take a vacation this, uh, this weekend. Um, but he is Mr. Hustle, and uh, he does not quit. He is, uh, wow, he's, he's amazing. So walk me through what I see when I land at discoverdash.com, the basics. Yeah, so there's a Google Maps feature um, where you can enter uh, your meetups, your ATMs, uh, any kind of uh, presentations you want to give, any kind of events. Uh, so like I've a calendar function almost. Yes, okay. yes. And then a maps function that shows both ATMs and Dash meetups. 
Dash meetups, ATMs, anything you want to put there. Uh, merchants, um, yeah, we're, uh, we, I added the, I believe it was a consensus uh, conference that they're having right now. So, yeah, we're going to add conferences in there. Pretty much just everything and, and anything Dash related. Right. Anything you would need to know to try, you want to get plugged into like the social side of the Dash ecosystem. Well, I have to say that if y'all uh, keep up on this merchant map function, uh, that'll be super great. And if not, I might attempt to find out where one or more of you live and come and cause you bodily harm because <laughs> it has been uh, a problem in that, you know, several such sites have been started, uh, mer dash merchant tracking websites. But then I get emails from people saying like, Hey, I submitted my business to this site and it didn't update or, Hey, I, I submitted a support ticket to this site and they're not responding anymore. And so this is something that is needed. And obviously you knew that. Yeah, we intend to go, uh, you know, we're not, we're not stopping. It's, it's, we're going to make it big. This is just the beginning. Uh, it's just getting started. There's only a few things on there right now, but yeah, we're definitely, uh, intend to um, make it very, very big, and we won't uh, we won't abandon it. We have a a good track record of of doing things. So yeah, just like just Dash Worse News, we will uh, continue to grow it, and uh, hopefully you can help us with the uh, with your new project and proposal. I'm sure it'll pass. Well, thank you. Well, uh, let's talk a bit before um, before I let you go, Brian. I want to know how and when did you come into Dash? Wow, I guess it was around March 2014. I remember the price was about 55 cents, and uh, it was right at the beginning. Yeah, and I've been involved in the the forums, the Bitcoin talk, battling the trolls for a long time. That's kind of how I got started. And uh, I've I really enjoyed that. I haven't been able to do that lately. There's been lots of Dash Force work. I haven't been in Slack as much as as I would like to or the forums. Uh, but hopefully, um, once we get this this Dash discovered up and going, I'll be able to get back in and and mix it up with everybody. And so, wow. So March 2014. Yep, that that's pretty OG. And now, why did you choose to be heavily involved with Dash among you know our many many competitors? Why? Uh, early on, I guess I like the anonymous part of it. The um, the dark coin. I love the dark coin name. I know you didn't like it. I, I, I did like it. Um, it was a cool name back then, but I, I, it took me a while to get used to Dash, but I love Dash now. And I really like the masternode concept and getting uh, the return on investment. I, I, I saw that, well, I could keep my money in Bitcoin and it wouldn't do anything, or I could put it in Dash and set up some masternodes and uh, get a nice return on investment. Seems simple enough. Well, um, I guess I just have one final question, Brian, which is when can we expect to see the launch of discoverdash.com and how can people get both their ATMs and their Dash accepting businesses listed on that map when it launches? Well, it is launched. Oh. Um, yeah, it's just not really, It's we, we, we've only got a few things going on there. I've added a couple of things. Um, you can add stuff to it. Mark is still working his magic and uh, getting rid of some bugs, but uh, we did go ahead and launch. So people can just go on there, um, they sign up, and then they can add their stuff. We can also add stuff for people, and then they can come back later and claim it as their own. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. We're going to help everybody along and make it make it much easier and kind of just add a lot of stuff ourselves. Mm -hmm. So when you say people can add things and or if they see their business has already been added, they can claim it. Does that mean that there are like user accounts on the site? Is that what I'm to understand? Yeah, I have. I've just barely messed with it myself. But yes, there are user accounts. And um, yeah, there's still some categories and stuff that need to be set up. That's going to be, be Mark's deal. But it is all free. Um, so free for everybody to use. And like I said, it's just getting started. It's, uh, it's going to be a much better user interface once we, once we get it going. Yeah, good. Well, Brian, I have to say that the Dash Force is really just churning out uh, some, some cool looking stuff and I appreciate it and I wish you luck going forward. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we're fixing to put in a new proposal uh, here in a couple of days, and yeah, there's some there's some other new stuff that um, people will be excited about. Yeah, I'll I'll wait to announce it, or uh, you may see it on Dash Wars News. 
Right on. Oh, and before I sign off, um, help me to place you on the map. Whereabouts uh, on this planet do you stay? I am in Texas right now. Texas. I was in Colorado for many, many years, um, but I am in Texas right now. But I will be going back to Colorado probably in the next the next few years. Love it, love it up there. Right on. Yeah, and a handful of Dash folks uh, are up there as well. All yeah, right. there's a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Brian. Get back to work. Thank you.